Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and the new Selenium IDE is finally here and it is a really great and improved version of Selenium IDE and a lot of us who have been missing and waiting for Selenium IDE this is a great news for all of us and another good thing is Selenium IDE the new version is now available for Firefox as well as Chrome so you can get it on both these browsers and in this very quick video I am going to show you a demo on how to use the new Selenium IDE I will also talk about some features and will share some useful links with you so let's get started and here I am on my Chrome I will go to the Chrome web store and I will search for Selenium IDE and here you can see we have got this Selenium IDE here I will say add to Chrome and add extension so you can see Selenium IDE is now added and you will see this icon of Selenium IDE and similarly if you are on Firefox you can just say uh, Selenium IDE Firefox extension and you will get this Selenium IDE for Firefox and similarly you can get this Selenium IDE extension on Firefox by clicking on add to Firefox so I'm continuing on Chrome so I have got this Selenium IDE here I will click here and you can see this new window where it says record a new test in a new project open an existing project or close Selenium IDE I will say record a new test in a new project it will ask me for a project name I will say this is uh, demo project one and say ok and now it is asking us for a base URL to start with so I'm just going to take a demo application so this is a demo application for orange HRM I will use this and I will provide this here and say start recording and you can see it has started the application I will just split my screen so that you can see the selenium IDE window as well as the recording taking place and you can see at your bottom right you can see selenium IDE is recording and here as I will type something you can see the commands getting recorded on selenium IDE I will use the username admin and password admin, admin123 here and now a very cool feature with this new selenium IDE is while you are recording if you right click on any of the element you will find this option selenium IDE and it will give you some of the options that you can use so for example if I say uh, verify text now this particular element does not have the text property so it has given us a message the element does not have property text please change to use store value command so you can get different options on different elements and you can use this so as of now I am just going to click on login and it has logged in and I will click on this link welcome admin so let me click here and then I will click on log out and you can see all these steps are recorded and you can see all these steps are recorded here now a very good thing with selenium IDE is you can go to any step and you can see the details of the step for example I go here and you can see the command you can see the target and the value and the description if there is and another very good thing with new selenium IDE is if you click on this drop down for target you will find that selenium while recording has captured a lot of locators for this particular element so in case this primary locator does not work it can search the element with other locators and this is something very much required people who work with selenium know that this is a nightmare sometimes the locators break and if you are using multiple browsers the locators work on one browser but do not work on other browser so this thing is taken care of by the new selenium ID and you can see all these properties and locators and then you can see this reference here so when you go to any of the command or step you can see the details of that particular command or action and you can see the information here now you can also do some manual editing you can right click on any of the step and you can 
uh, insert a new command you can clear you can add a toggle breakpoint which will be helpful in debugging and you can manually add the steps uh, if you go here at the top so let me first stop the recording I did not stop it so I'm just going to click on stop recording and it is asking me to save in a test name I will say this is test one and say okay and you can see it has come here and here now you can see these uh, in the toolbar we have option to run all tests which will run all the tests in the project we have option to run the current test and then we have option to step over the current command and this will be very helpful while we are debugging and then you can see this is the option to test execution speed we can set the speed of execution and by default it is set to the highest possible value but you can also uh, change it in case you are facing any network issues and you feel that your scripts are failing because the network is slow you can always change this and then test your scripts and if you come here uh, you can see we have option to create a new project we have option to open project and we have option to save the project so I will just click on save my project so that I can save this project and then I'm just going to save this on the desktop and you can see it uses the extension SIDE which is for Selenium IDE and I will just go and save this project first and yes this is saved and here now you can see we have the option to disable breakpoints so actually you can create breakpoints you can click on any of the steps here and you can create breakpoints and then you can use this step over current command so while you have created breakpoints and you run your test it will stop at the breakpoint and then you can step over the steps one by one for debugging and troubleshooting uh, we also have an option for pause on exception and this is very useful while you are debugging so in case of any exceptions it will pause and then you can troubleshoot your issues so these are some very cool features we have the log where you will get all the logs while you are running your test and here you can see we have test test suites and executing so you can click on anything and then you can click on add this plus sign to add a new test or add new test suites for now I'm just going to run this so I will say run current test and it will start running my test so you can see it is now running the test going to the orange HRM login page it is adding the username and password going to login and it will now click on welcome and log out and everything is fine now one other thing with new selenium IDE is there are implicit weights already added so you do not have to worry about synchronization this was again a real pain point for a lot of automation engineers that uh, the synchronization was an issue and therefore the scripts failed so there is a uh, inbuilt synchronization and implicit weights already added and you can all also test it if you, there is something I will just make a mistake somewhere I'm just going to make a mistake here and this should fail so let me just show you now I will run it again and let us see what happens so it is preparing my test case and now it is see you can see it is trying to find the ID txt username 1 so you can see this and it will keep on finding it for the automatic implicit wait time and then it will fail the test so let us just wait so it is still trying to find out that particular element and it will fail once it has tried it for the time and you can see implicit wait timed out after 30,000 milliseconds so it was for 30 seconds it tried to find out but then it failed so this is something inbuilt and very useful in new selenium IDE so uh, you can see you can use uh, all these features now something very important if you go to these three dots here at the top right corner you will find this running in CI and let us click here and here it will take you to this website so here you can see how you can use the selenium side runner so selenium side runner is a tool which is used to run the selenium IDE test in command line and it is very useful if you are using any continuous integration systems and to run this you just have to install the selenium side runner you can use npm so you can use uh, you can install it using node and just in case you do not have node.js 
installed on your system you can go to node download and you can see this is node.js download website and you can download node.js installer for your operating system and run it so that node is available on your system and then you can run all these npm commands so i'm on mac i will go to my terminal if you are on windows you can go to your windows command line and just run this command npm install minus g selenium side runner and this will download and install the selenium side runner and then we can run any of our uh, saved selenium ide tests or projects using the selenium side runner and while this is getting uh, downloaded and installed let me show you some useful links so here are some links that will be very useful i will provide all these links in the description of this video also let me open this particular link this is a github page for selenium ide and then again we have this page for selenium ide so you can see the very first page which is this one is the documentation page for selenium ide and it will show you all the features and how to use and all information about the new selenium ide and you can see everything about here and then here we have a github page for selenium ide let me just open this yes so this is the github page and you can see this is work in progress so there will be many new features getting added and you can see all the information here about the new selenium ide and then we have the selenium side runner here so you can see all the information about how to use and get selenium side runner with all the option so let me go back to my terminal and yes this is in progress and there are some warnings which are okay and yes this is done i will just clear my screen and yes so now i have got the selenium side runner and now you can see here you can see the usage you can just say selenium side runner and then give the project name or location and it will run it and then there are a lot of other options you can use for example browser name platforms and all these options so for now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create or run a simple command with selenium side runner i will go to my desktop so i will say i will change the location to my desktop where i have my project saved so I am going to my desktop and you I have my project here so I will say selenium site runner and I will say demo project one dot site and I will run this so this is running my demo project one and it failed let me see the uh, reason it says the chrome driver could not be found on the current path and it is asking me to get the chrome driver from this location so i can get the chrome driver from this location however i have node so i will just say i can say npm install minus g chrome driver and this should get me my chrome driver and yes this is downloading and it will install the chrome driver and yes this is done so i will clear it again and now i will again run my command selenium side runner demo project one dot site and let us see what happens now and yes it is now running my test and going to chrome and will open the website and yes this is going to the home page yes doing the login and then it is running now and it might fail there was some issue so it might fail let us see the output here on the console so it will wait for some 30 seconds and yes so you can see it has failed it because there was an error and you can also see this was the error so you can see all these things and then the final result on the console so this is very helpful while you will you will be doing doing 
the continuous integration so this is all about the new selenium id this is work in progress but already there are some really cool and new features and this is something will be very useful for all the selenium users so i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching